I thought it started off pretty apprehensive. As they filed in and it was a standing room only crowd. No one really kind of knew like what to expect. We had to go to this thing for the mental health week. I thought Caleb's presence really drew them into it more than I would have imagined. It didn't feel rehearsed or scripted. It just felt from the heart. Throughout the room, like everyone was locked in. You just see heads tracking as he was pacing back and forth. I saw students wiping their eyes, you know, like they really wanted to hide emotionally how it was hitting them. Like kind of a gut punch, because you kind of see like that people really are going through stuff. So it was kind of just like a pit in your stomach. That feeling where everybody was feeling the same thing, it, it doesn't happen. And we had that yesterday. He put into words things that they've been feeling but didn't know they were feeling. It then put shape to something that they realized so many other students in the room shared. That is powerful. That is powerful. We've struggled for years with just relating this to our male student athletes. As Caleb was able to be his authentic self to the students, allowed other people to express themselves as well. It was the kids starting to realize that I've held back. I've held back almost my whole life. Kind of had to process that really quick and sit on it. I could feel like my mind was just going, going, and going. Uncomfortable is probably the wrong words, but it, it is, because it's not something people like talking about. And I think that that feeling really carried out and truly throughout the whole experience. It kind of just like grounded you into that chair and made it like really almost personal. Somebody's life was changed last night. I mean, it's no secret, like mental health is a big issue for a lot of service members. I mean, I was in the Air Force for five years. It's like their job to come in and give presentations, like, hey, these are your resources. They just like to get through it, basically. There wasn't a lot of, like, what you're feeling is real, and just the conversation that Caleb had with us, the kind of just openness, the rawness, asking a really hard question, letting it sit there, letting it be quiet, like letting everyone just kind of sit with that awful feeling. It's weird, like that uncomfortable feeling made me feel better in the end. It was powerful. To look in on yourself in a room of 300 people and just feel like it's just you and Caleb. It gave me the kind of the courage to go talk to the head of our counselors here at school. And I was like, how do I sign up? Because like, I, I don't want to be angry. Like, I don't want to shut down from people. Like, I need help. And by the end of the evening, one of the athletes made an appointment at the mental health counseling. I had a few students come up to me and, and ask about therapy, you know, and, you know, how do I get in? They pitched this to us as athletes, but like I didn't come away as like, what am I gonna do as an athlete? It was, how am I gonna address what's going on with me? So that way I can be more free. This may sound weird, there seemed to be a sense of relief. It was kind of just like a deep breath. Speaking to those 300 people, they're gonna speak to 10 more people each. Just like viruses spread, so do things like this. They felt like they got something that they needed.